today so this is my little outfit of the day got some hoop earrings that i got from my local jeweler this is also from my local jeweler got my movado watch got some jewelry on i got some rings on my fingers um this top is from dion lee this is actually my first time wearing it it is a little small <laughs> around the chest area but um we're gonna make it work and then my pants are from Reformation, and I'm not sure what shoes I want to wear yet. I think I want to do like a strappy block heel sandal, um, but I'll see what I have. Um, but yeah, oh, I have to take the tag off. Petite sac, sac du trash du monde. Mond. Uh, Mond is the world. Yeah. Trash. The, the, the sack the of the world. Trash in the world. What <laughs> is trash? Basura. Trash. Basura. I don't basura. Mas. Well, actually, yeah. I guess you could use this as trash. Yeah. You just have to line it. Yeah. Oh, I mean, girls trust Target. Trash check. Anyway. Trash check. <laughs> Oh my god, we're beating her. Sorry, Queen. We're gonna, we're beating you. We won! Woo! dinner folks for some italiano this is oh. this is everyone's uh, outfit of the day so my top is from lulu's my top is a repurposed swimsuit from lulu's that i wore earlier today we're not going to talk about where i got these items because they came from a very long time ago i don't know why they're still with me but here they are say hello <laughs> hello and boots are doc martens Ooh. Ooh. I'm wearing Utiere, which is a little queer Latinx brand. Oh, we love to support a sister. Um, I'm wearing some ASOS pants. Shh. And some <laughs> Versace. Versace. Ver Versace. Everything. Chus. Versace chus. Very nice. Versace zapatos. Excellent. My nipples out. Wear that out. Nice. Like, we didn't know that we were going to dinner, so Paulette and I just put together an outfit real quick <laughs> with what we had in the car. Doll check in, doll check in. Sweetheart, Hi, where are you at? If you are not a doll, just say that. But do not interfere with me and, and my, my doll <laughs> activities. You want the selfie stick?
pins for self tape that I have to do. And uh, the Long Beach Grand Prix decided that they would practice today. So now I don't know what to do. I was gonna go to my dad's house, but he has jury duty today. So I don't know how to film this with all this noise going on. And it's like a, a really intense self tape, like it's drama and there's like crying. There's no way I'm gonna get into this headspace with all this going on. So I'm, hmm. I mean, this is my fault because I had all week to do it and it's due today. Um. All right, so I've learned that they are intermittently um, driving and then not driving, so they're practicing and then taking breaks. So hopefully, if I time this right, <laughs> we'll be able to film this self-tape. Hi, my name is Asia Jackson and I'm five foot six. Hi, my name is Asia Jackson and I'm five foot six. Hi, my name is Asia Jackson and I'm five foot six. Veggie grill time! Mm. See, I could be vegan if I could eat like this every day. Mm. Good morning, everyone. Um, woke up today feeling like shit because uh, yesterday, well, yesterday I woke up feeling like shit. And then on top of that, there was the Long Beach Grand Prix. So it was very loud in our apartment. So what we did was we drove to my brother's house to hang out because it's not noisy over there. And he decided it was a good idea to order some Howlin' Rays, which is like spicy fried chicken. It was delicious, but it made me feel terrible. And then on top of that, we had ice cream and lava cake. And then my brother's fiance went to go get some Krispy Kreme. It was just not a good day of eating. And um, end of the day, I didn't feel so great. And then when I woke up this morning, I felt terrible. So we are on our way currently to the farmer's market to kind of uh, reset. You know, we need that redemption arc. I forgot what he said these were, but they smell so fragrant. They're so good. Oh, wow. My apartment smells so fresh. Um, I'm in a much better mood now. Um, buy yourself flowers, folks. Just buy yourself flowers. It's a nice way to elevate your lifestyle and elevate your mood. Anyway, in addition to the farmer's market, we also went to H Mart because they have really great fruits there too. Uh, but I also got some kimbap. And we got some mangoes! start the day off right. <sighs> What's up everyone? My friend Tway, you probably know her on Instagram and TikTok as Tway De Bay. She's a Vietnamese like chef influencer and she has a pop-up today at Amboy. Uh, which is a Filipino-American-owned burger place. Love Amboy. 
He has really great burgers. He's based in downtown LA and they collaborated for a burger, which is like a beef look uh burger, which is like shaken beef. So basically she made a patty, like a burger patty out of shake, like her shaken beef recipe. So I'm very excited about that. I already pre-ordered our burgers, so we will be going today to go check it out. It's going to be really fun. We're going to have some goulash. Um, don't mind the background as I show you my outfit because we are doing a closet clean out. Uh, there's my mom. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to show you my outfit. I'm going for a monochromatic look today. My shirt is from Cost. My pants are from Frame. My jacket I got a couple years ago from Topshop and I'm wearing a coach bag. This is actually my first time wearing this out. I was gifted this bag <coughs> when I was part of uh, the Troop Sephora collection. <coughs> it's my first time wearing it out. Um, and then I have my uh, Saint Laurent sunglasses. So that's my outfit. Oh, and then my shoes are Converse. So yeah. All right, and this is Mama's outfit today. So walk us through it. I wore a different outfit earlier, but I wasn't liking it. You so weren't feeling it. I wasn't feeling it, so I was gonna throw this away because we're doing all this stuff. But then I tried it on; <laughs> it still fits. So yeah, so I paired it with my high waist um, white pants with Gucci. These used to be mine. You probably have seen these on my channel, but <laughs> they fit her, so she likes them. So, I have it now. And that's it. And let me show you my glasses. These are from J. Crew. The bag is by Saint Laurent. One of my favorite uh, purse for now. to an event in LA today and then I'm gonna go hang out with Josh Jordan and Haletta. So here's what I'm wearing today. Again, ignore the background. We're doing a closet clean out. So this blazer jacket is from Sandro and it has these really nice uh, like gold button detailing right here. This is double breasted, which is really interesting because I usually don't like double breasted jackets. I don't like how they fit on my body, but this one's actually really, really nice because I have a really narrow body and um, this one doesn't make it look like I'm drowning, so that's really nice. And then the skirt is also from Sandro. Um, I just love like the cute little details. Fashion is in the details, folks. You know what I'm saying? So I got this really cute pleated skirt on. Um, for shoes, I'm wearing my new Prada loafers. And then my socks, <laughs> these are just from Aritzia. Um, I have my, whoa. I have my jewelry on, my um, cropped long sleeve top is from Cotton Citizen, and then my bag and my sunglasses are from Saint Laurent. Phone case from Case Defy. <gasps> oh my gosh, how cute! 
cute. There we go, folks. Um, if you would like to try one of these out for yourself, get yourself a little customized uh, phone case, I will leave a link to the one that I bought in the description box down below. Okay, now let me get back to work. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. I just took a shower and I wanted to share a couple of products with you today. Um, this is the new uh, deodorant gel from Necessaire. Previously, they had a deodorant it was more like a cream texture almost. I like this one a lot better. The other one is really great for the summertime for me anyway because I sweat a lot during the summer because it's hotter. But this is um, a gel, so it's not as like thick, which I really like. And it also has um, it has AHAs in it, which is actually what helps um, kill like odor causing bacteria. But because it's also an exfoliant. It helps exfoliate under your arms, which is really nice. Okay, now I want to share a new product that I just got in the mail yesterday. Um, this is from a PR package. They sent this to me. This is a brand I've never heard of before. It's called Melit. I think that's how you pronounce it, but it was created by, um, it was co-created by a bunch of, or a group of um, dermatologists of color. And it says right here, the science of melanin rich skin. So apparently um, these dermatologists of color, they came together to create this brand because of, you know, the lack of resources or um, attention and priority that is placed on skin of color. So I thought that was really cool. Also, the packaging is so beautiful. Look at this, wow. So um, this is the Dark Spot Control Serum, which is essential for any brand that says they're going to cater to skin of color, because I feel like for black and brown people, dark spots are one of the biggest uh, skin concerns that we have. So I'm gonna try this out says to shake well, so I'm gonna shake it well. It's my first time using it, by the way, so don't take this as a product recommendation because I'm just now trying it. <laughs> oh, okay, that's a lot watery than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, got it. <laughs> hmm, I really like the texture. Okay, I really like how uh, watery it is because it's easy to move around the skin. Sometimes serums can be so thick um, that it's like difficult to distribute the product around. And it has a really light uh, scent. It's not too, it's not too overpowering. This is actually a very nice user experience, but I'll have to use it for a little bit longer to um, see if it does what it says it does. You know what I'm saying? Okay, I'm going to do the rest of my skincare um, and then I have a full day of beauty maintenance today. Like I'm getting my lash lift, I'm getting my eyebrows done, and I'm getting my, uh, a new set of nails, getting a new nail design. So this is going to be in the next vlog. So I'll end this vlog right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next beauty maintenance vlog. Peace!